Okay, we're going to show you today how to make, uh, how to bandage a uh, baby chick's wing um, in a figure eight bandage. And what we're using is uh, vet wrap, which we can get from the farm and feed store in the horse section. Uh, since it's so thick, of course, we don't want to cut across because it doesn't stretch as well as it does this way. So we're going to cut about a half inch wide and maybe eight to ten inches long. This is what we use for uh, what they call angel wing or split wing. You can also use this on songbirds with broken wings. Uh, I found instructions for how to do this on the internet from wildlife rehabbers articles. Now I'm going to get our speckled Sussex that had the split wing. She's much better now, but I'm just doing this to demonstrate. You can still see what that looks like with a split wing there. But she's holding her, her wing much better, so it's healing. That's what we want to see before she was using her wings a lot to balance. So I'm going to do this side because it'll be easier for me to do it. Okay, we want to settle her down and handle her very, very gently. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. She's much more energetic now than she was. Okay. Now what we want to do is get the right side. We want it carefully Thread this as far as it can go under the wing, leaving she's struggling a little bit, leaving it a, a little bit hanging out. There. Now we're going to make like a loop. This will go over the bent part of the wing and under it. Not too tight, not too loose. Got to be so careful. Come back. There's a the top part of that figure eight. Here's the bottom. Now it sticks. You can go right back under. That wing a second time if you want to. You can also secure it with medical tape, cloth tape. Uh, just don't get it on the wings. It helps if you have two hands. Uh, I've done this three times, and so that helps. Okay. Carefully snip any excess off. Gently press it all around. There's a figure eight bandage on a baby chick wing. This chick here is eight days old, but um, she was struggling, so she's a little bit smaller than her brothers and sisters over there. So she's more about a four day old chick. She's got a um, little trouble with her leg too, so we've been working with her on that. You want to check the bandage 
um, make sure they're tolerating it well, um, and, uh, oh, she's a little poopy, she's doing very well, um, and change it every, uh, one or two days, three at the most, and then give a little bit of, um, stre gentle stretching of the wing when you take it off, maybe a little gentle massage before you put a new bandage on, um, this condition, the split wing corrected itself with her within um, two days using this bandage method. Uh, you may need to go longer if they're older, but I've been reading that they've used the, this method for, uh, for chicks even as old as six weeks. So. Give it a try. Um, if they're having that trouble with their wings, um, it helps them rest it and uh, and get some of their strength back. Okay, I hope that helps someone. Thank you very much for watching. This is Pippi, the speckled Sussex baby chick, eight days old. She had split wing, and uh, we're also called angel wing, and. Um, and some leg problems, which we're doing therapy on the legs too. Um, might have been a slipped Achilles tendon, which is also, also commonly occurs with chicks that are hatched in incubation method. These were mail order chicks from the hatchery. So, um, so if you have any other questions or anything, just uh, post them to my my video. Okay, thanks so much for watching.